Hi everyone, my name is Hewitt. I am a pharmacist and cosmetic formulator. I apologize that I'm unable to turn on my video today, but I wanted to get this latest sunscreen recall by J&J under brand names Avino and Neutrogena to you guys as soon as I could. Um, so sorry about the video. And just a disclaimer, opinions expressed on this channel are my very own and do not reflect Ascalite formulas. Um, as a background, what happened was back in May of this year, Bali Shore, which is a chemical testing company, did a random post-market test of sunscreen products. Out of the, you know, 240-something products they tested, um, some 79 of them were found to contain a higher than acceptable benzene in them. In case you're wondering if any benzene is acceptable at all, just due to the nature of how chemicals work, there is a two parts per million, which is really, 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 really negligible concentration that's acceptable by law. So um, this applies not just for benzene, but um, any other trace elements. Some might have a different parts per million number, but that's uh, typically how it's done. You get the picture. So, as you know, benzene is unsafe and harmful to our health. Um, it causes cancer, mutation, lipid peroxidation, and many other things that are not good for our blood, organs, and nerves. So, um, in case you haven't seen um, the extensive list that was put together by Valley Shore back in May of 2021, uh, I'll play towards the end of this video and um, what I'm going to do is uh, probably just link it down in the description um, so you have access to, you know, their publicly available document that's submitted to the FDA um, so you can, you know, refer to the PDF um, as you wish without having to, you know, wait for the video to play, but whichever um, way is more convenient for you, you get to do that. So, you know, this is unfortunate because the very reason we use sunscreen is to protect ourselves from harmful UV effect uh, of the sun, right? It's really unfortunate that we're learning some of these sunscreens contain benzene, you know, uh, which is a proven carcinogen by the CDC, Department of Health and Human Services, the WHO, and other institutions um, concerned with, you know, our health. Um, so it's it's sad and very unfortunate. The concentration of benzene found in these sunscreen is above the acceptable two parts per million. And you can also see that the standard deviation and percentage to give you an idea of how much the numbers are off. That's why it's a big deal and the reason why companies are being forced or voluntarily withdrawing these batches from the market. Valley Shore is petitioning to the FDA um, to take actions, including announcing the public, tightening regulations. Um, I mean, there is already a regulation around cosmetics and for sunscreen, it's even, you know, strict. Um, but, you know, uh, it, it appears that we need more, more regulation, uh, especially for sunscreen, which um, is actually treated like a drug because it contains an active ingredient um, on its label. So yeah, what Valley Shore is doing um, is really, again, petitioning to the FDA um, to further investigate um, the manufacturers and these products, the batch they, they found to contain benzene, and to consider working with other regulatory bodies such as like you know EPA and whatnot to seal the crack. Now today, uh, July 16th, 2021, um, is when I'm recording um, this video. I have um, read that J&J, which is the parent company, again, like I said, um, for Avino and Neutrogena, um, voluntarily recalled uh you know the items you're looking at on the on the screen and um here are the specific products that have been identified to contain benzene
that I've noticed a lot of them are in aerosol form. And I talk about this in one of my previous videos that I'm not a big fan of aerosols in general, just because, you know, the particles are teeny tiny um, and it's inevitable. They will travel down our lungs and they're not intended for the, you know, to be inhaled. But it's just the nature of them makes me very uncomfortable. Um, you're free to disagree with me, but I really think uh, if you can avoid it, including hairspray, at least like, you know, spray it completely away from your face or cover your face when you're doing so, um, just because, you know, we're talking about benzene and I don't want to go uh, and change subjects, but there are a lot more chemicals you just don't want to inhale. So if you can avoid it, avoid aerosols in general. I hope this helps. Um, if you have... Um, if you have any of the sunscreens that are recalled today or, you know, back in May, please throw them away and, and use the list to help you buy sunscreens that are not identified to contain benzene. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time. Take care, my friend.